Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, productivity, college, and all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. But today we're talking about how to actually stick with your 2023 goals and how to not break your New Year's resolutions because I know this is the time when we start to break those things, but we can do it guys. We can stick with it. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. I'm currently getting ready for the day, but I wanted to tell you the first thing. The first thing to make sure that you stick to your goals this year and not break them or drop them off is to make sure that they're realistic and attainable in the first place. This goes back to when you planned your goals, but you have to actually have realistic and attainable goals that will keep you motivated to complete them. If they're so unrealistic and so big that you can't complete them, then you'll be unmotivated and you'll end up being burned out on trying to chase after something that is too broad for right now. Most of us are not able to change our lives completely cold turkey when the clock strikes 12 on New Year's. It does work for some people, but most of us can't. So if you haven't watched my planning for 2023 video, in that video I talked about how I made three big New Year's goals or resolutions and then each month I have a smaller goal that aligns with one of the three big goals. I like this method because then I have a sense of accomplishment and like I'm actually doing something when I accomplish the small goal that's helping the bigger goal. Versus if I just have this big, large goal that seems impossible to actually attain, then I just get unmotivated. I need that sense of accomplishment. So if you don't know, my goal for January is to meal plan or just prepare my meals ahead because I am in school, so I got to pack lunches and all of that. And that is going towards my bigger goal, which was to take care of the body that God has given me. That was the big, broad goal. So when I get into the habit of meal planning and I accomplish that goal, I will feel like I'm taking care of the body that God has given me in one more way than I did in 2022. So I encourage you, if you have goals that seem overwhelming, scale them down a bit, make them something that is a little bit more attainable. It will help you continue to push towards your goals if you do have some sort of accomplishment during the year and you don't have to wait till December of 2023 to feel like you've accomplished anything. So scale down your goals, make them a little bit more realistic. Now in the car, I had chapel this morning and I am about to work at a coffee shop. Number two is to know when you're just unmotivated or when you're actually feeling burnt out. Nobody feels motivated 100% of the time and if you do, I feel like you're probably lying because that is just not how life works. We all experience a lack of motivation at some point in our lives. And I feel like the key to sticking to your goals for 2023 is to know when to push yourself through that lack of motivation or when to ease up on yourself and actually slow down for a second. If you haven't been following me for a while, then you may not know my story or much about me, but I am an Enneagram 3, which is the Achiever Enneagram, <laughs> and that's where you thrive off of your achievements and accomplishing things. Definitely just because of my personality and how I grew up, I found myself in 2021 as a full-time student that was commuting. It was about a 30 to 40 minute commute. And then on top of that, I was a full-time manager at American Eagle and I was working 40 hours a week. I had just been married for a few months at that point and it really was just a lot. And I was constantly just trying to be the best at everything and it would cause me to cry all the time. I cried like three to four times a week maybe and I just felt so burnt out and that's kind of what I mean by burnout because burnout looks different than motivation. Burnout is actually like affecting your whole life and is an overwhelming feeling versus motivation is just 
I don't want to do this simple task in front of me. I never knew the difference between the lack of motivation and being burnt out, especially in 2021. But now that I'm out of that situation, I have been learning what that looks like in myself and it definitely looks different for everybody. You know yourself best, so you know when you're feeling burnt out and when you're feeling just unmotivated. I feel like the key to this is to pay attention to how you're feeling, which would require you to slow down and actually evaluate how you're feeling with a little check-in, personal check-in. And I know that can be hard for us, especially when we're on the go all the time, but trust me, it will actually help you stick to your goals in the long run if you evaluate how you're feeling figure out if you're burnt out or just unmotivated and then you can decide how to proceed from there if you need to take a break or if you need to just push through get things done i'm outside now and i'm done with school for the day so i'm gonna give you the third thing that i think will help you stick to your goals and that is give yourself rewards for accomplishing your goals our brains love the little dopamine spike that we get when we get a reward and we accomplish our goal and i've talked about her on my channel before but i watch shelby sacco on tiktok and she talks about this reward method for creating new habits and accomplishing goals. So what she talks about is after you do one week of a new habit or goal, then you get yourself a small reward. And then after three additional weeks, so a total of one month, you get a bigger reward. This reward system has helped me create several healthy habits in 2022, and I know it will continue to do so in 2023. So for January, for my meal planning goal for the month, I bought myself some baskets after one week because I needed some to organize, and I love organizing, which is actually a reward for me then after a full month i'm going to buy myself a long sleeve workout top because i'm freezing right now going to the gym and i don't like to wear hoodie when i'm working out but i thought a long sleeve would be good so i'm gonna get a long sleeve after a month setting rewards for yourself and actually writing them in your calendar i like to write them in my calendar it keeps you motivated as you are continuing to grind and work through the week to see your goal coming up i feel like that's a really good idea i get little post-it notes from target if you've seen the little organization post-it note section with the different colors i get one of those and i put it on the actual day that would be my one week or my one month of the goal and it's so motivating to see it we're inside now and i have a friend coming over so i'm gonna get some dinner ready but i wanted to share number four tip for you and that's to ask someone to keep you accountable to accomplish your goals i know it can be embarrassing to ask someone to help you and keep you accountable to your goals but it actually really helps you and if they're a true friend or family member then they're not going to make fun of you for the goals, but they are going to try their best to help you accomplish them. This is so helpful when it comes to your goals because then you have to report to someone if you have been working on your habit or working on your goal, and then you feel guilty if you didn't do it for that week or whenever you report to them. When you have someone keeping you accountable, they can give you the encouragement that you need when you're feeling unmotivated or when you're feeling like, your goal is just not possible and you want to give up on it. They can encourage you through that and help you stick with it when it gets hard. Truthfully for me, I use social media as my accountability partner. I feel like posting on my Instagram stories or my TikTok about the goals that I'm pursuing is accountable to me enough. Not that anyone is really looking at them, I don't think, but I like to do it and to post on there even if no one cares about me accomplishing my goals that's what i like to do so you can use social media or an actual person if you like to have personal text reminders to encourage you but just do whatever works for you and find a way to keep yourself accountable externally because it'll motivate you when the motivation's just not there thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because i love to do this for you and i will see you guys whenever i see you next bye guys
Start your...